guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is my credit card update. Credit card debt update number four, I believe. Let's get right into it. So the last video that I just uploaded, kind of a bummer. I didn't really have extra money because um, of my vacation day, I lost $100, which is so crazy. I just can't believe like going on vacation really makes you lose that much money. And it scared me a lot. So this paycheck that I just got paid today, I'm going to prepare for that better. I got like $200 more than usual. I wonder if it's because I worked an extra day or something happened. I worked so much longer and I'm extremely exhausted. I, you can see at the bags under my eyes, I am emotionally drained physically drained honestly the last two weeks have been so excruciating and really really tested my passion for this job and confidence in this job basically because of what i have gone through here if you didn't know i work with kids that have a lot of issues going on so really hard it's really physically draining mentally draining too um and emotionally so i have i have just been really struggling trying to work and my all so i have good news in this video so next week is going to be different as of right now my schedule i do have a shorter day next week so i'm really excited about that i need it it's been over three weeks that i've had like a short day and i just need it really bad i just really mentally need it one another good thing is that i have a job interview for the new position that i applied for that will be coming up this next week i just i'm so excited for it i cannot wait to go to the interview and let them know how bad i want the new position third thing is that i actually am saving money so um with my chase freedom i am at 1500 right now I will be putting $100 down possibly tomorrow. I just need to see where my bills are at once my two of my bills go through tomorrow morning. So I will be having $100 down for that. And since I got paid extra this month, I am putting $500 into my savings, physical savings. And that is going to be the start of my emergency fund because I have depleted my emergency fund the last couple, the last month basically. And it left me very scared and not knowing what to do. And also just like using my credit card. I'm really happy that I was able to put $500 down into my emergency savings. I have it right here. I'm going back to cash envelopes. So I have my $500. So this $500 is going into my cash envelopes and I'm not gonna touch it. I want to get to $1,000 as a safety cushion that is like, Honestly, my bills every month are about 1200 So if I can get to that, at least, I will feel 50% better about my situation. We're starting off strong. $500 is a lot to put away and not use in one paycheck. This is the first pumpkin cream cold brew of the season, you guys. We're back at it. So good. Just to have that $500 as a cushion is going to help me a lot. I am working my way to $5,000. That is like my main goal. I want to get to $5,000, but I need to get to $1,000 first. So I'm like rushing myself. We're going to start low. I hit $500 and I am happy with myself. I am just very proud of myself that I am able to put this money away. So it's been a long time coming. It's been very stressful the last few weeks working. And this is like the biggest thing. Finally, something good is coming out of the darkness. So I'm really happy and, and thankful that I'm able to put this much down. How did my no spend go? My no spend went so good. All I did was buy Starbucks one day, which is today. And that's like, honestly, I have not bought an energy drink in literally a week and that is crazy like but I buy energy drinks every single day for my work shift and this last week I didn't buy any and it they're like for almost four dollars a can so I'm really proud of myself I've been taking my coffee the coffee I make at home I've been taking that to work and it's I mean it's not great but like it saved me four dollars a day so that's really awesome. Also, I have not bought anything and that is saying a lot because I online shop so much. 
when I'm bored, when I'm sad, all that. Shopping for it and putting it into my cart is what makes me happy, I guess. It's like a soothing thing. It's not good because then I spend money that I don't need to be spending. I haven't bought anything on Amazon in like two weeks. So I'm very proud of myself for doing that. And I just, it's great. It's great just knowing that I'm actually making progress in this to paying off my debt. So yes, I'm still at 1500 on my Chase Freedom card. I should be at 1400 tomorrow once my bills go through. I really I don't know if I just wanna keep throwing my money at this card and pay it off completely. I have two credit cards that are, um, are high interest cards and they're taking a lot of money from me. So I think I'm going to get this Chase Freedom card down to like 1200 and then my next big paycheck, I'm gonna start paying off one of my high interest cards. So I, I'm still paying off this Chase Freedom card but I'm not throwing all of my extra money to it i'm gonna throw most of the extra money towards the high interest card so so instead of throwing 500 dollars towards my chase freedom each paycheck i will be well every other paycheck i will be putting down like 400 to a car to the high interest credit card and then 100 to chase so that is my plan starting September. September 4th I think that's when my next my first paycheck of September is and we're just gonna start going down from there because I would rather pay interest of $20 on my Chase Freedom card every month than $130 interest on my high interest card like the math ain't mathin so that is the goal for next month starting September 4th when I get paid that's what I'm going to do and I just need to kick this in the butt and get this going because I wrote out a plan to have my one of my high interest cards paid off in January so that's what we're doing it's going to take me a few months but I'm ready to get that done so that is it for this video um let me know how you feel let me know if this makes sense the caffeine is kicking in so I don't really know for sure if I'm making any sense right now um I'm gonna go home and take a nap because it's literally noon and I had a I had a meeting at eight o'clock this morning. So I'm gonna go relax and edit this video and get this uploaded. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you in my next one. Bye.